All right, welcome to SAT Math Lesson 5. Today we're going to do some more word-ish problems. We're actually going to learn how to convert English into math. So most of the problems are pretty easy. Some of them are a little tough. The first one we're going to start out with is seems tough on the surface, but uh, turns out to be pretty easy. We're going to move into studying exponents and then finish up with averages. The SAT loves average problems. We'll show you the basic formula, how to manipulate it. You'll get all of them right. Okay, let's start. Next, first problem. Okay, so as usual, uh, go ahead and stop the video, take a look at this problem, see if you can decipher it yourself, and then we'll go to the board and take a look at it. Okay, this problem is pretty straightforward. You just have to translate English into math. Let's look at this. The sum of 3a and the square root of b is equal to the square of the sum of a and b. So let's just break it down. There's the equal to part. Fair enough. You know, we know we have that. The sum of 3a and the square root of b. Well, sum we know is plus. So we've got 3a and the square root of b. This is the sum of 3a and the square root of b. So right there, we can eliminate 3 out of 5 of our choices. Next, we have is equal to the square of the sum of a and b. So the square of the sum. So what's the sum? Sum of a and b. A and b, that's the sum of a and b. The square of the sum of a and b is a and b squared, the square of the sum. So if you don't get lost, if you just focus on what the words say and write that exactly as it appears in math from the English, you'll be fine. The sum